Hey everybody, welcome back. So glad you're here with me today. Today I have for you the perfect subscriber tag. And I got this from Mascara Cakes. And I will link hers down below. The original person was Katie Marie. And I will link her too down below. Uh, we'll start off with the questions. Do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel? Or do you try a few videos first? I don't know. Sometimes, like, if I'm busy, I'll hit subscribe. Because then, if I ever want to unsubscribe later, I can. And it kind of, like, bookmarks it for me. So, yeah. Uh, two. Does the... Make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway your way to subscribe? No. No, it doesn't. Like, I know I say it sometimes, but it's like nothing I really listen to. Like, it'd be nice, but I'm, I'm not going to force you to. But I just don't think I ever, like, even if they say it, it's like, it's not cringy. Like, it's just like something you don't think about. It's like, oh, uh -huh. yeah. Three, how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? I do not know how many channels I have notifications on for. Like, it's not a lot. It's probably, like, less than ten. Because I don't want my email, like, cluttered with notifications. Like, the only, re like, I, for example, um someone's videos were not showing up in my feed like they should be so I click notifications so I get them like if I notice that someone's videos aren't showing up for me I'll click the notification bell um four do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites I do not watch every video and not just watch my favorites like I'll watch my friends and then if the title's interesting or it seems like an interesting video I'll watch it I mean I, there's not enough time in the day to watch every person I am subscribed to it's ridiculous there's not enough hours so I pick and choose. I know that's not great, but it happens. Because I'm pretty sure no one really watches every single one of my videos. Um, how, mm, number five. How many channels do you never miss an upload for, no matter how busy you are? I always watch Philip DeFranco every day. He posts around 5 to 6 o'clock or 5 to 7, depending on the show that day. And I don't drop everything I do to watch it. Like, it's just, I, I never drop anything to, oh, I have to watch this video. I just watch things regularly, like I'll... There's people I watch every day, like him. Not like, oh, I gotta stop what I'm doing. So, six, what kind of commenter are you? I will comment as the video goes, and I won't leave like comments like Kara said, she'll comment and like she'll hit send. I'll comment as the video is going along and like collectively do like that. And then hit, at the end of the video, then hit comment. Uh, do you skip ads or watch? Um, I usually skip. Eight, do you speed up videos? I never knew you could until like two months ago. And I was like fascinated. I was like, holy shit. Like, how did I not know about this? But then it's like, I don't really understand and it gives me a headache if I try to speed it up. So it's a uh, lose-lose sometimes. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? If I'm going to buy something and like someone has an affiliate code, why not? I am all about saving the money. <laughs> like, I don't understand why people get pissed off at that. Like, if you're going to buy it anyway, why not save 10, 15%? Yeah, it's not that much, but you'll save a little at least. Mm -hmm. 10, what is your preference when it comes to video length? What is your sweet spot? <laughs> video length, I hate having to watch long, long videos. I do. I hate it. Like, my sweet spot is between 15 and 20. And then, after that, I start losing interest. And sometimes watch it in parts. <laughs> or, um... If they're under 15, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's my sweet spot. Because my attention span is not the greatest. Squirrel. 11. Do you thumbs up most videos? I'll thumbs up my friends' videos. And I'll, if I like a video, I'll thumbs it up. I don't, I don't think I thumbs up every single video. But, um... I do most most of the time. Do you ever thumbs down a video? It is rare, but I have done it. Like if a video really has to piss me off to thumbs down it, like I'm trying to think, like if I run across some like anti-vaxxer bullshit or someone just not being accurate. Or someone just being an asshole. Uh, I'll thumbs down it. I can't think of the last one I thumbs down. Oh. I, I remember. I was pissed off because I had been following these YouTubers for like a really long time. And uh, felt like I know them. Like they went through struggles and then they had a beautiful story. And then one day they posted a video trying to hawk the skinny tea, the poop tea. And I was so pissed off that they would do that. Like, they're all about, like she was, the one girl was all about being healthy and the other girl was trying to be healthy. And they have young, like they're considered role models, I think on YouTube. And it wasn't very, I don't think, Young kids should look up to that shit. And it just really pissed me off. So, I thumbs down it. Definitely. And I might have left a nasty... I, I wanted to leave a nasty comment. But I left a more mild, I'm disappointed in you comment. Which, I'm sure they have like thousands and thousands of followers. That they did not give a shit about. That's just how it is. Um, 13, do you share other YouTubers videos on your social media? Um, depends. Like, if it's a funny video, I'll share it. Like, I don't know. I know, I know. Recently, I shared a Jenna Marbles video because it had me in hysterics. <laughs> and, like, I'll share, like, the Vivo videos. And I don't think I share, like, my personal friends' videos on my like Facebook or something but I'll share some on Twitter um sometimes Instagram and that's about it and that was the last question I hope you enjoyed that from me I will leave links to Kara and Katie down below and I hope you're having a fabulous day bye